Today we're going to be diving into five foods that can actually help fight cancer. Dr. William Lee, a renowned physician and researcher, has dedicated his career to understanding how our diet can play a crucial role in combating cancer. In his work, he highlights how certain foods can help stimulate our body's natural defenses, improve blood vessel health, and inhibit cancer growth. Today, we're focusing on his top three food picks that could make a significant difference in your overall well-being. In my book, Eat to Beat Disease, I got it right here. Check it out if you haven't read it. I strongly recommend it, Eat to Beat Disease. It's got a lot of stuff in here about food doses and all the different kinds of foods that can activate your health defenses. To fight cancer, there's whole sections about um, cancer-fighting foods in there. Cancer is one of the leading causes of death worldwide. But here's the good news. Research shows that certain foods can help starve cancer cells, boost immunity, and support overall health. Dr. William Lee, the author of Eat to Beat Disease, has extensively studied these foods. Let's break them down. Number one, purple potatoes. Purple potatoes. If you haven't seen a purple potato, it is a beautiful potato. Regular potatoes, kind of brown, dirty looking. Purple potato, you could tell even from the outside, that there's something interesting because it's purplish on the outside, but when you cut it in half and hold it open, man, that is a beautiful purple color. And the purple comes from a natural dye called anthocyanin. Anthocyanins are bioactives, and these bioactives, you guessed it, lower inflammation, they cut off the blood supply to tumors, anti-angiogenic. Against tumors, cuts off the blood supply feeding cancers. Purple potatoes aren't just pretty to look at, they're packed with powerful nutrients that can help fight cancer. These naturally vibrant tubers contain antioxidants, anti-inflammatory compounds, and plant-based chemicals that work together to slow down tumor growth and cut off the food supply to cancer cells. What gives purple potatoes their rich color? Anthocyanins, a type of antioxidant that has been linked to slowing the growth of cancer cells. Studies suggest these compounds can help prevent the formation of new blood vessels, angiogenesis, which cancer cells rely on to spread. By blocking this process, anthocyanins help starve tumors and keep them from growing. Some research even highlights their potential in fighting colon, breast, and stomach cancers. There's one additional thing that I think is absolutely brilliant about purple potatoes and the research that's been done on them in a lab is that purple potatoes actually have been shown to kill cancer stem cells. Now, cancers are just an abnormal mass of cells, but when they keep on coming back, they need their own stem cells to regenerate themselves. You know when a cancer patient actually has their tumor removed by surgery, treated by chemo or radiation, and you're done, right, for five years, but sometimes they come back. Well, the reason those cancer cells come back is because of their stem cells. That cancer figures out how to resurrect itself. Uh, and so purple potatoes actually have been shown to kill the colon cancer stem cells. What an amazing thing. Plus, a beautiful food to boot. Now, by the way, if you actually cook purple potatoes, steam them, saute them, bake them, do it however you like. You can make a purple potato soup. I have a recipe for purple potato gnocchi in my first book. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Purple potatoes are loaded with vitamin C, polyphenols, and carotenoids, all of which help protect the body from oxidative stress and chronic inflammation, two major factors that contribute to cancer. By reducing inflammation, these nutrients help create an internal environment that is less favorable for cancer to develop and spread. One of the lesser known benefits of purple potatoes is the resistant starch, a special type of fiber that feeds the good bacteria in your gut. A healthy gut is essential for a strong immune system, which helps your body detect and eliminate cancerous cells before they turn into tumors. If you want to actually make it even, even better for your gut microbiome, all right, because there's fiber and potato, you actually put it in the fridge, turns into resistant starch, uh, easier to digest, and also um, helps uh, your gut microbiome become uh, healthier. So purple potatoes, check them out. Number two, papaya. The next food we're going to talk about is papaya. Papaya, often called the fruit of the angels, is not only delicious, but also a powerhouse of nutrients and bioactive compounds that help in preventing and fighting cancer. This tropical fruit is packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and enzymes that play a key role in starving cancer cells 
and boosting immunity. Papaya is loaded with lycopene, a potent antioxidant that helps neutralize free radicals unstable molecules that damage cells and contribute to cancer growth. Research has shown that lycopene reduces the risk of several cancers, including prostate, breast, and lung cancer. Unlike tomatoes, where lycopene is more effective when cooked, papaya provides bioavailable lycopene in its raw form. Now, most people don't think about papaya as a cancer-fighting food, but this is actually sort of an oblong football size and kind of oval-shaped uh, fruit, tropical. Uh, when you cut it open when it's ripe, it's actually bright uh, orange inside with little black seeds. You scoop out the seeds, and the flesh, when it's ripe, is absolutely delicious. You can just eat it out with a spoon, slice it up, put it onto a plate, and just have it for breakfast, have it after dinner for a dessert. Absolutely delicious. Now, papaya, as has been shown, to actually um, lower the risk of lung cancer. Now, why is that? Well, that red color of papaya contains carotenoids something called beta-cryptoxanthin uh, and beta-carotene. And these uh, actually are also anti-inflammatory. And you guessed it by now, you get the drift. It's actually anti-angiogenic as well, all right? Papaya contains papain, a natural enzyme that not only aids digestion, but also has anti-cancer properties. Research suggests that papain can break down the protective barrier around cancer cells making them more vulnerable to the body's immune defenses and treatments like chemotherapy. Plus, papain helps reduce inflammation, which is a key factor in cancer growth and spread. This fruit is also a great source of vitamin C, vitamin A, and flavonoids, all of which help strengthen the immune system. A strong immune response can prevent abnormal cell growth and fight off potential cancer threats. In fact, papaya leaf extract is often used to help increase platelet count in cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy, helping their bodies recover faster. Dr. William Lee, a pioneer in anti-cancer research, talks about anti-angiogenesis, the process of cutting off the blood supply that feeds cancer cells. Papaya has compounds that help block this process, essentially starving tumors and preventing them from growing. I love to have papaya for breakfast. It's a great way uh, to get some fruit. It's not very sweet, which is an advantage. You need to watch the amount of sugar you eat. And speaking of sugar, uh, sugar and fruit is perfectly fine for most people. All right, don't eat too much of it. Eat a reasonable amount of it. And the whole fruit is always going to be easier on your metabolism because it has less sugar in it than having the juice. So I always recommend having papaya fruit as opposed to papaya juice if you're going to actually enjoy papaya. All right. And, and most places actually have papaya. You don't have to go to the tropics, although wonderful to be there. Uh, and if you go to tropical countries, do look for papaya, but you can actually find it at the grocery store. By the way, frozen papaya chunks are also really good as well. The frozen chunks, uh, they actually trap all those bioactives, so you're perfectly fine. Cancer-starving, anti-inflammatory. Number three, pomegranate. Let's talk about uh, next food. We're gonna talk about pomegranates. Speaking about purplish, reddish foods, the pomegranate, also a tropical fruit, although you can find them at most grocery stores now. They are kind of like a big apple with a thick skin and a little bit of a crown at the very top. They're heavy. You know why they're heavy? Because they're filled with seeds that around every seed, a little bit of liquid, and that's pomegranate juice. Pomegranates aren't just a tasty and refreshing fruit, they're also packed with potent cancer-fighting compounds that help protect your body from disease. Loaded with antioxidants, anti-inflammatory properties, and plant-based chemicals, pomegranates play a key role in slowing tumor growth and cutting off the fuel supply that cancer cells need to survive. This, these seeds, the pomegranate juice, are packed with bioactives. These are naturally occurring chemicals that give foods their biological punch. Okay, this is what you eat to beat disease, these foods with these bioactives. And in pomegranate, they're called elagitanins. Now, elagitanins uh, also help to give the bites, the kind of acidity, and also contribute to the color of the pomegranate. Uh, you want to be careful when you actually uh, eat and work with pomegranate because that guy around the seeds will stain your clothes if you're not careful. All right, but absolutely delicious. You know, by the way, each seed 
looks to, like a little ruby, beautiful red color. You ever see pomegranate in a salad? Uh, I had a Syrian salad the other day called Fatouche, and it has little pomegranate seeds in it. So when you're eating the salad, you bite into it, these little ruby, uh, fruity rubies, and an explosion of sweet uh, flavor and juice. Absolutely delicious. One of the secret weapons in pomegranates is their high polyphenol content, especially elagitanins and punicalogens. These powerful compounds help stop cancer cells from growing and prevent tumors from spreading by blocking the formation of new blood vessels, angiogenesis. Essentially, they help starve cancer cells, making it harder for them to multiply. So what do elagitanins do? Well, they do a couple of things. Pomegranate uh, elagitanins have been shown to cut off the blood supply to tumors, all right, starve cancer, anti-angiogenic. And in fact, clinical studies have even been done in men with prostate cancer showing that pomegranate juice can actually slow down the rise of PSA. Of uh, you don't know, PSA is a blood marker that goes up when you have prostate cancer. And for men who are actually um, having their PSA go up, 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 um, having pomegranate juice pretty much um, kept them at a uh, cruising altitude so they wouldn't actually uh, keep rising. Pretty amazing, right? So what do we think actually is going on? Well, it turns out elagitanins are anti-androgenic. They cut off the blood supply to cancer. And in the case of prostate cancer, would make the prostate um, cancer harder, make it harder for them to actually grow uh, and become more aggressive. Hence, we think this is actually why the PSA actually is able to be leveled off. Pomegranates are packed with antioxidants, even more than green tea or red wine. These antioxidants fight free radicals, harmful molecules that can damage DNA and lead to cancer. By reducing oxidative stress in the body, pomegranates may help lower the risk of cancers like breast, prostate, colon, and lung cancer. Chronic inflammation is one of the biggest contributors to cancer growth. Pomegranates naturally contain anti-inflammatory compounds that help keep inflammation under control, making it harder for cancer to thrive. On top of that, this fruit helps boost the immune system, giving your body the strength to fight off abnormal cells before they turn into something serious. The other thing that pomegranate juice does, which is really amazing, is that the elagitanins, which you eat, goes trickles down your gut, goes down to your lower gut, your colon, and it stimulates your colon to produce natural mucus, right? We think about mucus normally in the, uh, in the upper throat, back of the mouth, right? If you wanna actually have spit, right? But mucus is all throughout our GI tract, all throughout our intestines and in the colon. When your colon uh, secretes mucus, mucin, it helps a natural healthy gut bacteria called Acromancia mucinophila. Some people say mucinophilia, wrong. Acromancia mucinophila. This is one of your best friends in, of gut bacteria because acromancia, when it comes to cancer, talks to your immune system, makes your immune system a lot beefier and stronger in the battle against cancer. So here's pomegranate with pomegranate juice with elagitans that actually lower inflammation. They starve cancer by cutting off the blood supply. They help and nurture your gut microbiome, including an organism, Acromancia mucinophila, that actually talks to your immune system and helps your immune system pounce and get rid of cancer. All right? Remember, while no single food is a magic bullet, incorporating these nutrient-rich choices into a balanced diet can empower your body's natural defenses. Always consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice, especially if you're undergoing treatment. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and family, and leave a comment below about your favorite healthy recipe or your thoughts on using food as medicine. For more insights into how you can make everyday choices that contribute to a healthier life, don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos. Until next time, stay healthy and keep thriving.